Lads, we have got yet another insanely, what's probably an insanely good batch of cards. Well, good cards to be added into tomorrow's rookie packs. Well, tomorrow's shades of packs. Like, I have not been the biggest fan of the way 2K have started off my team. I've let my opinion know. But one thing they have done very well are these shades of packs. The original owner concept is killer. Not even, like, even 30, putting them up for 30k MT. Even put up for 30k MT in the pack market as well as 15k VC, that would have solved this whole problem, but it doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, if you don't get K'd, so fucking what, you get these beast of cards. You get these absolute beasts. So lads, we've got Benedict Matherin, Jason Richardson as the two cards. So lads, I'm going to be honest, I was late to the last one because I haven't really been playing 2k all day. I've been trying to build my FIFA team for the last hour or two. I was kind of busy for a lot of the day. Well, not really busy. I had like physio and I've just been exhausted. So we built our FIFA team looking all right. But let's go on to 2K just to see what these cards are going to play like in general. So I'm going to see what Matherin's... Matherin's pretty decent as a... Uh, he's pretty decent as a gold, I'm pretty sure. As far as goals go. He has 79 speed, 79 acceleration, 72 three ball. Oh, he's going to be... Mu and also, he's compared to Jay Rich, which means you're getting it like a 90 dunk there. You're getting at least an 85 dunk if, he's compar if his comparison is uh, Jason Richardson. With Jason Richardson is being his comparison, you're getting at least like a 90 dunk-ish. Maybe 85 if if he's unlucky. Oh my god. 2K. It seems like 2K want to hit you, make you hit play now online. So I'll, watch, I'll show you what happens. Let's back out. And go in. I'm gonna hit right four times. Yeah, you see, it stops them playing online every time you hit right four times. You need to hit right a fifth time. Uh, so current NBA team. So we're gonna take a look at what Matherin is like shooting wise first. I heard he is an absolute chicken man. I heard like his release is absolutely insane. Obviously no hot zones. He's working. His player build is nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh wow. What's up with these? What release is this? Is this his own release? Why are all these rookies the best release in the NAM game? This is his own release on quick with Jordan dribble style. The normal leaner. Okay, thank God he doesn't have like a Kobe escape. Because if he had the Kobe escape, this car would be an even bigger joke. That release is so good. It's kind of a weird one in terms of just how his body just constantly just moves around the place. But no, it's just fine. It kind of reminds me of Robert Ori release in terms of speed. It's like a faster Robert Ory. Again, normal leaner on with a quick timing jump shot is even more deadly. It is m way more deadly. And again, Jordan dribble style. He will actually burst. And he's also big. He has a big player building game. So again, he gets like an 85 driving dunk and a even a couple of dunking badges. And is a passable defender. He doesn't even have to be a good one. He's a passable defender. He probably makes my team... Like, it's really between him and Jalen Brown. And no, he def... I think he definitely makes my team. It's... There are so many... Like, it's so... We're so stacked at the guard position. We are actually so stacked. And, like, we could end up seeing Chet, by the way. The headliner hasn't been announced. It's probably going to be power forward center Jabari Smith. But that also could come with, like, a Jaron Jackson Jr., which could be insane. But, my God, this might be the best release in the game. I'm not even joking, this could be the best catch and shoot release in the entire game. This is the best release I've used. You know what? I'm going to say this right now. HTB's been on the money. HTB, the second Matherin was announced, he was like, yeah, no, Matherin's going to be him. Henry's been on the money. He found PJ Tucker and stuff. He has been on the money with players this year. I like to think I've been pretty decent as well. Uh, but, man, he has definitely been on the money as well. You can see he's definitely playing this game a hell of a lot. But no, he's going to be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Let's check out Jay Rich. He should be on the all-time Bobcats, maybe? There's no Bobcats, is there? Is he on the all-time Hornets? I don't think he's going to be on the all-time Warriors. No, because the Charlotte... They took... The, it's like the Bobcats don't exist. The Bobcats just don't exist anymore. That team is gone. 
Uh, is the We Believe Warriors in this game? Maybe the We Believe Warriors are here. 0607 oh, Warriors. Yep, the We Believe Warriors are here, so we can check them out. I was getting worried he wasn't going to be on any rosters. Oh, Mitchell size up. Bad dribble style. Oh, that released the same as last year. Oh my god, that's money. And like he could potentially end up at like the 25-30k mark. All of those diamonds have. Whether it be like DeAndre Jordan or I remember eight and no, AK was a little more expensive, but DeAndre Jordan was cheap. No, he's gonna be nice. His burst is a little bit iffy. But his dunking is obviously going to be insane. Stop celebrating. What are you doing? Why are you punt? Who are you celebrating to? But uh, I just want to check dribble style. I think that might be basic. Um, no. That's pro, I think. I think that's pro dribble style. It's not bad. But it's like the old fundamental. Could be ja. But that release is really good. No, both of these guys are going to be complete chicken men. Matherin's player build is way bigger. Oh my god, he just kicked the backboard. But like... Jay Rich is still going to be elite. And Jay Rich, I can guarantee, dunks better. Like, we're looking at probably like Vince Carter 2.0. Because I think Vince Carter is going to be... Like, we're looking at like... If you don't want to pay 300 for a Vince Carter, get a card like it's perfect. I don't think he's gonna play the greatest defense in the world. The fade's all right. One of the pros, anyway. It's either pro or pro two. But this year they're a lot easier to green than last year. Because for me, with the pro, when you always just look at the legs, and as soon as that rifle starts to kick forward, is when you release it going this way. You just kind of try to shoot off muscle memory, for being honest. But uh, yeah, so. Not a bad looking card. Not a bad looking card at all. Both of these guys look really good. And you can see there, they shot where he's shooting from. It might be his own release, but this does very much remind me of the base 31 from last year. It's basically the same as last year. He's nice. He's nice, lads. Both of these guys are going to be insanely good. Holy crap, lads. Both J. Rich and Benedict Matherin. Are gonna be unbelievable and i am looking forward to using both of them because at the end of the day it's the more good cards there are in the game the more fun it is but that shooting guard position so damn stacked oh my god like we are literally looking now as far as shooting guards go we are looking at like in the last like two weeks we've gotten danny green okay or achaya baji the michael jordans if you um, reddish glitched Jalen Brown, who's free. Um, and a load of other players like that. Like, we have the two guys small forward position. is so damn stacked. But yeah, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.